All right, so here we are. We're going to start going through some of the different testers uh, that are using data cabling uh, insulation and testing and maintenance part. And the first piece of equipment that uh, I'm going to show you is a toner and probe. Okay, this is a tone generator. Okay, and it has a, a plug, or you can actually clip onto the conductors. I'll show both ways how to do this. And what this is uh, used for in um, infrastructure cabling system is identifying where the actual cable is and where it's being terminated. It actually produces a tone, and this is the inductive, which you'll hear. Oops, as soon as I turn it on. It also do continuity testing, okay? Continuity is a simple test where if you take a look at the top, it has tone, off, and continuity. All right, so I'll put on continuity, and if you take and put a short on it, the light will light up, like so. So I'm shorting these two leads. That's a continuity test. That'll tell me that there's a short on the line. So if you didn't have anything else besides this, and you plugged this on and, and clicked it over there, and then the light comes on, and it tells you that your, your two uh, pairs are shorted together. So with this, we're going to plug this in to a jack and turn the tone on and we're going to try to track this down. Okay. So if you take a look at how this is terminated, all right, you're going to have some bleed over but you can hear the tone so you're going to go down here. It bleeds all over. So another way of doing it. And what happens is it's bleeding over from one jack to the next. So it goes all the way around right to here. All right, so now I'll do the other side. And I know this is going over here. Being this close that you're gonna actually get that, actually, it's called um, bleed over, that tone. So now you can hear right on this pair. It should be coming down the two. Now, your body has electricity in it. I don't know if you know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the palm of my hand and press this button. All right, and then I'm going to put my fingers over this, over this and see if it gets louder. So as soon as I put it on there, it's going through my body and through there. So that's another test that you can use as well. So that's your toner and probe. Okay, we are done with that. Next thing that I'm going to show you is the wire mapper. Okay. And this is a type of wire mapper, and it does more than just wire mapper. It'll tell distance and stuff like that. So we'll turn it on, and um, uh, this will do, it's called a cable tester. It doesn't do any type of certifying. It's just going to tell you that um, your cable is good from one end to the next. All right. So we will plug in on one end. All right. And we will put it to wire map. Okay. And it's looking. And here we have two of them. So if we wanted to just check a patch cord cable, you could stick one in here like this. And one on the other one, and do the test. It says local found, and I'll see when it's coming through. And it shows that our pinouts, they should correspond um, back and forth. That tells you the cable is a straight through cable, and it's all tested okay, and it shows the pass. So now we're gonna keep this in main, and what we'll do is we'll put it in our patch panel here. Since we know it's number one, and this end will be our remote. And this will be all in your kit. And now we're going to go through the test again. Remote found. And it passed. ID number one. And we'll have that shows. Now, let's see, let me take this out once. And we'll test it. We'll go back. It's, there's no remote on there, so it shouldn't say no adapter found, so it didn't find that. So, okay, we can't find that, or something's wrong. We'll go back. Let's check the length. So we're going to hit pair. It's going to test 
all the length, all that coiled up cable. And it tells me it's about 2.8 meters or 3 meters long. So coiled up there, that's pretty close. So it tells me it goes all the way down to here and it does an actual time domain reflectometer meeting, uh, reading and tells me the distance. And these are two tests. Now you can do your coax test as well um, with that type of module. There's an adapter, which I don't have for that. But that is your wire mapping tester. Okay, and that will be part of your kit. We'll set that aside. All right, next is... Your Bite Brother Cable Analyzer. Now what this will do, this will test... Um, actually the speed, wire map, near end, cross end, cross talk, far end, cross talk, a variety of different things. Okay, so I will have a video on how to do this, but I'll just go sh through this real quick. It says plug into the left side, all right. We could test one end to the other, but normally what you're going to do is always test from the patch panel because you want this to stay there, and you'll move this around to other locations. So, there, just clicked in. So, now what it'll say, okay, menu, cat 5.6, select, real world certifier, select, all right, it says exit or test, down arrow will be a test, all right, is it a patch cord 10 feet minimum or solid? We'll say solid because that's what you're going to test. You're going to have more, uh, um, cat 5e or cat 6 coiled up probably at least 50 feet when you terminate this this is just a visual for right now and we'll hit select the test and it's going to try to test this i'm not sure if it'll go through because it's too short it may not but the meter is going to go through a, a variety of different tests um, if it does say okay then it will say plug in the probe okay and right here's the probe it may not though but I will have a video on how this all works so you can see how this is done and the step-by-step -step procedures. So it takes a little bit per uh, line. And it may not complete at all. We'll just wait. But remember, when you terminate this, you're going to have at least 50 feet on here. So you should be able to test end to end. We'll give us a little bit longer before we stop. Usually it doesn't take this long. It goes a little bit more quicker when, uh, yeah. All right, so this isn't going to work, but you'll have a video on how to test this. It's going to be set up similar. When it says it, it will say, please plug in the probe. So then you're going to plug in the probe at this end. And you can only do this for the data connections and stuff like that. And this will light up if it's all wired right. And then it's going to go out and give you some more tests and tell if you pass or fail. All right, and that's about it. Thanks.